Hey, it's the Scotch Test Dummies, and we got a fan bottle here. It's an independent bottling, a signatory, a Buna Hobbin. Let's test it. Test it! Moignet style. Independent bottling style. Woohoo! All right, we're in. Now, I wanted to bring up something we've been talking about a little bit because Zach is a fan. We met him at Austin, and he comes up and says, here, I got that for you. I knew you guys were going to be here. And we immediately, or not immediately, maybe on the road trip back, we were talking about we need something to thank these fans that send us a bottle. Mm. And what did we talk about? Special coins. Right, special coins. I thought maybe you are going to leave me hanging there for a second. You were going to go, huh, what? Special coins. So we haven't designed said special coin yet, but we were talking about getting enough that we could send uh, those to Zach and different people that have given us little bottles along the way. Just something cool, something different, something unique. So we're going to work on that. What Bart is saying is he he's come up with the idea. He's going to wait for me to put it into action. Not true at all. Not true at all. You are not an artist. You are not an artist. So we will have to, obviously, it'll be something with the dummies on the front. But, yeah, we need to talk about, like, what is the, how, what do we do that? We did. We hashed it out, that coffee. Remember? I don't think we hashed it. Yeah, there's two different coins, one for your bar, one for mine. That's left me. Wow. Gone. Wow. I don't remember two different coins, one for your bar, one for mine. Yeah. Anyway, Dang. Zach Andrews, thank you for Scott's See, Sometimes shout out. we'll spitball stuff, though, and then you're like, that was finalized. And I'm like, no, we were just like talking. Well, I'll tell you after the show, and you'll be like, right. damn, I forgot. All right. I vaguely was. remember, but I like to see designs before I'm like, yes. It's not oh, yeah, like we I'm haven't like, done any designs. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. Because you're like, yeah, we already done, done, it's done. I'm like, hmm, I don't remember well, it's being not done. done but there, we're, that's all. We're on the same page again, brother. We're going to leave right there. <laughs> we're going to leave right there. Because I didn't, I was like, I don't think we're done yet. And you're like, yeah, hashed out. <laughs> hashed yeah, out hashed means out. it's done. Uh-uh. Yeah. No, that's two different levels. Exactly. We hashed it out. Thank that you. That just means we talked about it. And Well, now you're back where I was. I was like, yeah, we talked about stuff, but it yeah, we hashed it, it out. done. No. Good. I can't get this open. <laughs> All right, so this is an independent bottler. Uh, right. For those that don't know, you can get, there are some phenomenal whiskeys phenomenal. from independent bottlers. So this is, Signatory is a well-known independent it is. bottler. It is. They have sourced some casks from Bunahaben. Right. This is a Moignet, heavily peated, distilled at Bunahaben, 2008. Mm -hmm. And Zach so, with an H. Uh, let's see, 46% ABV at seven years old. It's matured in a refilled butt. They have the cask number on here, the bottle number on here. Mm. Distilled on January of 08, bottled in 15. So, uh, as you can see, very pale color. Do not judge a whiskey. Right. Now, this is peated. I wanted to come back just real quick because we did a show. Now, again, we film in succession. But we had the Glenfiddich. Fire and cane, and I did not get peat from it at all. But this this uh, Riedel glass sat, and now I get a lot of peat on that nose. Just wanted to say it. I went to rinse this, and I was like, "Whoa!" Now I'm getting peat. And then he immediately started to mock my palate. Something was messed up. With <laughs> That's what you were saying. I can smell peat on this one. That's all I'm saying is it. It, it had to be very subtle. Because hold on, it's not even subtle. Whatever. <laughs> all right yeah so again very very pale as scott said and i learned it with my very first peat love which was the compass box peat monster you do not judge a whiskey on its color this is so clear i mean it's just got like a a palish touch of yellow in it and this, I get a little bit of the iodine peat. I have a five-year-old Bunahaban from another independent uh, bottler, James MacArthur's. Very reminiscent. Hmm. Yeah, I unpeated, get a little... Actually, it smells like unpeated saltiness. Huh. No, I get the saltiness, and, but I also but, get the iodine peat. But peat as well. Yeah, but it also smells just like that Bunahaban 
style characteristic of unpeatedness. Hmm. And peanut, salted peanut. Malty, slight vanillas. Mmm. Mmm. Whoa. So the peat here is like uh, old driftwood is being burned on the beach. The saltiness comes in. It's got an old wood flavor. Beautiful roastedness on the finish. Mmm. An old barn door is on fire. Mm, I would give you that too. Earthiness, mud. Back to the mud. Yep. <laughs> wow. I didn't think it was going to go that way. It went real but, old oak for me. But smooth at the same time. Though. Yeah. yeah. Not like harsh peat or jumping up and slapping you around. Nope. Nope, Just subtle connoisseur peat mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. with the finish being very much oak, oaky wafts of, of smoke with a sweet brownish sugar. We got, we, we, we got someone. Whiskey Scout is saying he wants to try a little wants to try some. I say we should have denied him. <laughs> we should be like, no, no, ain't happening. There's a hand reaching in. Boom. Gone. He's been sitting Moigne there. Moigne heavily peated. <laughs> Whiskey scalp. I don't know. House. I don't know that I would call it heavily peated unless it's just really disguising it very well. I mean, it is. Well, I mean, you got to say the, it's not a light peat. Right. It's not yeah. a medium peat, really. Uh, that's where I would go. Would you? Yeah. Say, I wouldn't go. I would. I mean, I get what they're saying, but it's, yeah. it's a different kind of. Peat, it's that iodine mm -hmm. medicinal peat with all the salt water right there. It's like a salt water brine. But it's not that harsh though either. Not I mean, at all. Still, it's the mm. peat is there, the saltiness, the sea is there, mm -hmm. the barn door on fire, the earth, mm -hmm. the malt. Mm. A smoked peanut just came in again. Okay. Smoked like salted peanut shell. Peanut. I get peanut shell, not so okay. much peanut. Okay. First yeah. of all, Zach, thank you, sir. This is like serene, beautiful peat. This is what, or this is why, if I was restricted to one type of scotch, which thankfully I'm not, but if I was restricted to one type, it would be Isla Peat. Heavily peated Isla Peak. Space Eye Cherry. Oh, did I say that out loud? <laughs> I was like, I'm not getting that note. And you're like, that's where you'd be restricted. <laughs> oh, yeah. well, that's a big area. That's a good area to be restricted <laughs> to. Uh, but I, yeah, if someone came to me and said, uh, you know, uh, the gods, the Scotch gods had deemed that you shall only enjoy one region and one type, I'd go, Isla Peak. I'd be good. I'd be like, I'm, I'm all right. I'm all right. Ain't no problem. There's good because there's so many ranges of the peat, and this is a delectable different type of peat. A little bit of a lemongrass mm. in there with a vanilla. Mm. Ah, the the salty, sure. The brine, the you we didn't nailed. Check, we didn't check our uh, BAC before we started. We're done with that. Actually. We are good, good, good here. Um, you nailed it with barn door on fire. Mm. It's like somebody said, hey, you know, old uh, Jimmy's barn there, the door fell off. He said we could burn it on the fire. And you were like, throw it in there. And they were like, wow, we're right on the beach. And it's just burning. And you get the mix of the seaside and the old oak wood. Mmm, mm, the charcoal. Man, is that good. Mmm. Mm. This is black cowboy hat good. I probably should have had this on for the uh, Iron Root Texas style, but it's good with the smokiness here. Got the little trooper thing going on. Whoop, whoop. Um, hold on, I want to see this. Hold on, I got a number. My eyes are closed, and I got it. I got it. Still not looking at you. 
93, 93. What do you got? 89. Come on, man. 89. 93. This is delicious. Mm, that it's good. good. It would need nothing. A finish? Nope. Plenty it would finish. need more age mm, no. to bump it up no, over. It's still good. Smooth it out too much. I still like it. It's funny. This is where we definitely, I'm like, nope. <laughs> <laughs> it would deaden some of these things. You wouldn't get as much. This is, man, I still get that old dry oak. The finish just goes on and on. A little touch of the medicinal. It's just, this is why peated whiskeys you can just hang out with and spend some time. An ounce of this lasts you a whole night if you're a connoisseur. Beautiful. And I just got some of that peanut you were talking about. Mm. Mm, roasted. Yeah, this is this is great. This is good. What did you say, 93? <laughs> <laughs> Mine was 93. That's good. I'd go Thank plus or minus one. You this would plus definitely minus get seven, 90 for seven some. you should have had on there. Yeah. That, should, that could be up there into your record breaker. I didn't even put water in there. I don't know. I wouldn't. I can tell you I wouldn't. What's the ABV again? 46. 46. I wouldn't put any water in there. It's so smooth, but I'm going to try it. But I would you sip just, you're this. You're confusing me. You said you wouldn't. I would for the show I now will. you want it. For the fans, they're so going to demand it. You would. Oh, that's a lot. Thank you. Just a little bit. Just a touch. Yeah. Because I would. Bam. That was like a, a drop from an angel's tear. <laughs> Uh, that was a teardrop from an angel that went in there. Mm. Mm. Angel share. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. Mm. I don't believe that single drop changed it at all. Thank God. Um, but that, that tells you, I mean, Pete's robust. It's not that I've added a single drop to something before and it goes away. That brought out a little bit of a sour, mm, okay. sour wood. Not, it's not sour wood, let's say uh, wet wood. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Good. Not bad. No. Phenomenal. That's what it is. That's good. Traveling dummies. Mm. Mr. Bill. Oh, no, it's mm, Mr. Bill. Mr. Bill. He was at uh, the Air, an Air Force Museum, mm. I believe it in looks Ohio. Like a, a fucker. What? Yeah. There's no cussing. I didn't. It's a family show. That's a, that's a, it's, it's F O K K, I think, or 1 K E R. Fucker 7. <laughs> I don't know, I think. I missed the, uh, the Corsair 2, though. I knew it was a 2, and instead I yelled out Intruder 2 on a past show, and I was mad. Oh, yeah. Because I know what the Corsair is, the F4U Corsair. But you said it with conviction. I did, though. I sold it. But I, I'm, I'm a fan of the F4. Uh, Corsair, and then that was the Corsair 2 with the big intake. What is this now? Tell me more. Oh, uh, it is. Air Force Museum. It is. I can see the Iron Cross on there. Yeah. So, that's the triplane. Uh, the Red Baron had one of those, but of course he painted it red. Yeah, that big wood propeller on there. Yeah, awesome. What else does it say? Does it say anything? Uh, this was just a six, took us into the picture album, and oh. then he just sent an email that just said it was at the Air Force Museum. One of the pictures showed the, it was at in Ohio. Let me think of where to go mm. here. I know that was a highly maneuverable plane. I had a lot of lift. He's it says around. Buckeye Gamers. Buckeye. He's coming in. Oh, yeah, for the Bartman. That's what it's Buckeye says. Buckeye Gamers in flight, first in flight, 17th Squadron, Ohio, fighting Buckeyes. Okay. The first to fight. Wow. Look at that. Oh, and you know that, um, you see their sign there that they've got? I see it. I'm not sure what all this means, though. I see the old uh, star there. Wow. I see the old uh, What's... Uh, World War One. Star. Oh. That's the same sign that we got for the fifth our fifth anniversary gathering. Oh, look, oh, look at that. Are you going to show that? You got to show it. You got to put it up well, there now. Have to put, how can we put it up there now? Well, oh, you mean like get it in post, post editing. editing? Yeah. So this is a shot of if you're coming to our fifth anniversary, you're going to see this. First of all, you're a little stretched out. First mm -hmm. of all, I'm going to point right there, and your head looks awkwardly tilted. It's tall. It is tall, so it's big. That is nice. 
October 19th and 20th is our fifth anniversary gathering in Wichita. Right. Uh, details are up on our webpage, scotchtestdummies.com, on the events tab. You can go there and check it out. That looks really good. I'm curious how much that costs. I told you. I know, but I forgot Talk about. I forgot about how much. I'm just going to thank the Patreon fans for helping out. It was forty five dollars. No. Yeah. That's a steal. I know. That's good. <laughs> Are we done? Do we have any Patreon <laughs> thanks? I think we're caught up. Aren't we? we are caught up. Wow. Probably until later today when some new Patreon folks come on board. We'll love it. We'll love it. Uh, thanks to Zach Andrews. Great meeting you down in Austin. Wow. Thank you for the bottle. He knew I would love this. Mm -hmm. He knew it. And he was right. Scotch it, you Scotch gods. Cilantro. Dummies. Dummies.